everybody, it's the last day of vegan Thanksgiving, and that means it's time for dessert. Today we've got a pumpkin whip with a pecan brittle topping, and with that, on to the recipe. For this recipe, you're going to need the spices for a pumpkin pie seasoning, silken tofu that is firm, maple syrup, pumpkin, and sugar. If you have pumpkin pie seasoning on hand, use that. But for a mix, I use three parts cinnamon, two parts nutmeg, one part ginger, and one part clove. Then just mix that and use what you need for this recipe. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your silken tofu and blend it in a blender until it's smooth. You could also use a food processor if you're making a large batch. Next, add your pumpkin to the blender and blend until it is an even consistency. Next, add at least two tablespoons of sugar and at least four tablespoons of maple syrup. This whip is not very sweet, so you can add more, as well as half a teaspoon of your pumpkin pie seasoning. Then add this to a jar, a bowl, a decorative cup, and refrigerate for four hours. For the pecan brittle topping, you're going to need pecans, corn syrup, sugar, baking soda, and vegan butter. The exact quantities will be in the description down below. In a pan over medium heat, add your water, sugar, and corn syrup. Bring this to a boil and let boil until it reaches 240 degrees. Then add your nuts and butter and stir constantly until it reaches 300 degrees. Once it's reached this temperature, remove from the heat and add the baking soda. Spread onto a greased pan or a silicone mat and allow to cool. After it's cooled, just break it apart. After your whip has been in the fridge for at least four hours, you can remove it and either top it with a whipped coconut milk topping or leave it plain with just the pieces of pecan brittle put in the top. So that was our dessert. I wanted to mix the flavors of pecan pie and pumpkin pie, two very traditional Thanksgiving flavors, into one cohesive dessert. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you liked this series, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when I make new videos. And until next time, 